Grand Rising. Today I want to talk about does manifestation really work? Does manifestation really work? If you do enjoy self-love and spiritual development videos, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to upload videos every Thursday. Imagination creates all reality. You've probably heard or seen videos about these people talking about manifestation. Maybe you've never got into it, but somehow you came across this video. So before I talk about if it actually works, let's talk about what manifestation actually is. Manifestation is attracting something into your life by assuming that you already have it. Manifestation is attracting something into your life when you assume that you already have it. So this is nothing different than what's in the Bible. These are all biblical teachings and they're all practical. So this means that you can actually prove it yourself. So in Mark eleven twenty four, it says when you have a desire and you pray, Believe that you have already received it and you will. So this art of you believing that you have already received it is called manifestation. Manifestation does not come from the outside. It comes from the inside. So your creator, your God, your higher power is inside of you. There's no external gods. Those are false gods. So when you manifest and attract things into your life, it's coming through you. It's coming from your consciousness. So as you believe or as you visualize and imagine, it is done unto you. Because your visualizations, your imagination and your self-concept comes from the things that you actually believe and the things that you believe are the things that you habitually began to believe so if you were when you were a child you were told to do something several times over and over and over and over and over you were told to turn the lights off the bill's going to be high make sure you eat all your food we don't have any more of that and you were told that for 18 years, so you believed that food was hard to come by, clothes were hard to come by, money was hard to come by. Are you with me? So that became your permanent manifestation because this is your permanent self-concept. But since all things are possible, you can begin to change your self-concept today. So now I want to talk about does manifestation really work? How can you try this for yourself? So now that you understand that manifestation comes through you, you need to put this to action so you can actually practice it. And then you actually have that experience that gives you the wisdom to believe in. So if you don't experience it yourself, you're not going to believe it. So my words do not teach. It's going to be your experience that teaches you. So life is your best teacher. Whenever you begin to do something new, then you will actually begin to adapt the skills or you will begin to gain the skills to help you achieve your desire. So if you're having difficulties manifesting or if you're having a challenging time, attracting things into your life, then I want you to try this simple technique. So I want you to take something that you desire. It can be something that you like, or it can be something that you don't like. So you can do both just to prove that you are the power. So this could be you hearing from an old friend. This could be you hearing from your parents. Maybe your grandparents are sick and you want healing for them. Maybe you're sick, you need healing. Maybe you need some money. 
Maybe you need some reliable, a reliable transportation. Maybe you need some new comfortable clothes. Maybe you want a specific person in your life. Maybe you want to start your own business. Maybe you just want freedom, joy. So take something that you desire, anything. Do not limit yourself and do not feel guilty before you do this. So I want you to put this image in your mind. Whatever it is that you desire, I want you to find a comfortable spot that's extremely quiet, no outside noise. Even if you have to sit in your car and close the door, go in the garage, go in the bathroom, go in the closet, go on the roof of your house, it doesn't matter. Find a comfortable spot that is extremely quiet I want you to, if you have headphones, great. If not, you can still do this. So I want you to go on YouTube and I want you to find a background noise that you desire. So this could be uh, rain on a tin roof. Um, it could be waves crashing. It could be sounds of nature. It could be Native American flutes. But I want you to find some type of sound that's very soothing without words. So now that you have yourself together, you're in your spot, you got your headphones on, go ahead and play your music for about three to five minutes. So this music or this sound, the lo-fi, is going to actually calm your nerves. So if this is your first time doing this, you can do the music. If you don't have headphones, you can take a couple deep breaths until you begin yourself, until you begin to notice yourself getting a little bit drowsy, but you don't want to fall asleep. So you, you're going to go into the theta state of mind and you're going to begin to be, you're going to begin using your mind's eye. So this is going to be your third eye. Once you're actually in your comfortable spot, me personally, I like the Native American flute. Um, it calms me down extremely fast. So you're gonna let it play in the background, um, put it on repeat, put it on loop, make a playlist. And then I want you, once you're relaxed, I want you to begin to visualize and imagine anything that you want. So earlier I asked you, to picture something that you desire. So I want you to, to, to picture that in your mind now. So once your music is playing, you've taken a couple deep breaths, I want you to begin to create a mental image, a mental picture of your, in your mind that represents you having your wish fulfilled. If your wish fulfilled is to be with your grandparents because maybe your grandparents are sick or your grandparents are not feeling well, I want you to visualize an image or some type of scenario. You can even create a movie clip, a movie scene that implies that you are with your grandparents. So if you're maybe you're out walking with them at the park, maybe you guys are out eating ice cream, maybe you're at your favorite restaurant, maybe you are at their house, you're helping them with their garden because they're feeling better. So I want you to visualize yourself having this business, this love, a new job, a promotion, restored health, anything, anything, anything that you desire, better eyesight, better skin, better teeth, better hair, anything that you want. It could be personal or it could be an object. It doesn't matter. So I want you to visualize this for about five to 10 minutes every single day. So you can set a timer. So what I do is I'll set a timer and I want you to visualize until that timer goes off. If you, if you get distracted easily, I will suggest doing this before bed. You're almost ready to go to bed. You got about 30 minutes before you doze off, do it then. So you want to be in a relaxed state and what you're doing is you're actually impressing your subconscious mind that you believe that this is true. And when you believe that things are true, your subconscious mind will make it happen. But if you don't visualize that you're not going to know if it works. 
So take something that you desire, go in a quiet room, play some type of soothing sound in the background to help you relax, and then you begin to visualize your image, um, the person, the object, a movie clip, anything that you desire. I want you to visualize what it looks like. And you may have trouble visualizing at first, but that's okay. If you close your eyes and you visualize your parents, you can see them. So you already know how to do this. You just have to learn to relax and believe in yourself. If I ask you to visualize a baby smiling at you right now, you can probably see that. If I can ask you to imagine a tennis ball, you know what the tennis ball looks like. If I tell you to imagine a golf ball, you can visualize the golf ball. So you can visualize things that you're familiar with at first, and then you begin to imagine what you truly desire. So I want you to try this up to 30 days, just to 30 days. The time is going to go by anyways, whether you do this or not. So you have nothing to lose. This is your way to prove to yourself that manifestation actually works. So a simple way to do it is just visualize and assume that you have already received it and you will. So Neville Goddard teaches us that we must hold this attention. We must hold this mental attention on exactly what we desire. So if you're a negative person, then you're holding negative thoughts in your mind. Neville Goddard teaches us to flip the script and to begin to imagine the things that we do desire. If you imagine and you don't receive what you desire, then imagine again, because you're reprogramming yourself to believe something that you didn't for 20 years, 10 years, five years, 30, 40 years. So you're reprogramming yourself. So you're undoing all the things that were put into your subconscious mind when you were a child, when you were in school, your parents telling you, we don't have enough money for that. Where are you going to get the money? We don't know any rich people. You better settle for that one. Are you with me? So you have to reprogram yourself. So you are the one that breaks the generational curse. You might be known as the black sheep. Okay, embody that quality and begin to visualize better things for yourself. This is how you're gonna this is how you're gonna know if manifestation actually works. You can't find out if you're if you're ever gonna have a successful business and be wealthy and successful if you never start the business. So in order for you to consciously manifest and attract the things that you desire, you must start imagining. Your imagination has created everything around you. If you can see it in your mind, Eventually, you're going to hold it in your hand. You are extremely powerful. And in order for you to find out your power, you must commune with yourself. So all you have to do is visualize yourself having something for five minutes every single day. You can do it in the morning time. You can do it after lunch or you can do it at home when all your work's already done. All the kids are fed. You took care of your business. Your specific person is taken care of. So you want to take care of your business and then go visualize because when you visualize today, that's going to start creating your future for tomorrow. You're going, you're going to be walking those steps tomorrow because you put those images in your mind today. And where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. So give this a try. And you will be able to prove to yourself that manifestation works, but the choice is yours. Where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Make sure to stay towards the end of this video. I do have two amazing recommended videos for you to watch. Life is good. If you did like this video and it resonates with you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.